This game is called Close to 10. For this game, you will need something to write on and something to write with. And you will also need a deck of cards. For this game, I have removed the tens and face cards. So that means that kings, queens, and jacks have been taken out. I don't have a real buddy to play with at my house, so I'm going to play with my friend, Dinosaur. If you have a real buddy to play with at home, that's great too. But if you don't, you can pick an imaginary friend to play with. That's fun also. The object of this game is to make pairs of cards that come as close to 10 as possible when you add them together. Each player will start with five cards. Two, three, four, five. The remaining cards will be left in the middle because we are going to use those to play multiple rounds. We will each look at our cards and we will try to come up with ways to make 10. So right now, if I were putting down a combination, I would put down six and four because those two together make exactly 10. That's as close to 10 as I can get, exact. So I'm gonna be orange and dinosaur is gonna be purple. We'll keep track of our thinking and our equations here. So I have four plus six, which is 10. My score each round is going to be how far away I am from 10. So in this case, I am zero away from 10. So I have a score of zero. You want to be the person with the lowest score at the end of five rounds. Now it's dinosaur's turn. Dinosaur also has a six and a four, or dinosaur has a nine and a one. So Dinosaur would record his thinking. Our target number is 10 and Dinosaur got exactly to 10. So right now we are both tied with a score of zero. Okay, we would each take two new cards for our pile and continue playing. So I see an eight and a two. Those two go together to make 10. Okay, so I'm going to record my equation. Eight plus two is 10. And that is zero away from my target number because it is my target number of 10. Okay, now it's dinosaur's turn. So dinosaur has a six and a four. So dinosaur might decide to use those two together. And his equation would be six plus four is 10. That is also zero away from the target number. So right now we're still tied with a score of zero. We would each get two more cards. Okay, do you see anything in my hand that will get me close to or exactly to 10? You're right, I don't have anything that gets me exactly to 10. So I'm going to get as close as I can. I could do one plus eight, that would be nine, that's one away. Or I could do eight plus three, which is 11, which is also one away. So I'm going to go with eight plus one. That's as close to 10 as I can get with the cards I have in my hand. So eight plus one is nine. That is one away from my target number. So right now my score is one. Now it's dinosaur's turn. Dinosaur sees that he has a seven and a three. Those go together to make 10. So dinosaur can get exactly to 10 this round. Our target number is 10. So that means dinosaur has a score of zero. Right now, dinosaur is beating me because I have one, dinosaur has zero, and you wanna be the person with the lowest score. We would play for two more rounds, and at the end of five rounds,
whoever has the lowest total score is the winner. Good luck, have fun.